So my name is uh, Tassos Perakis. I work at the Netherlands Cancer Institute in the Department of Biochemistry. And uh, what we are uh, fascinated with is uh, macromolecular structures uh, and how this uh, interfere with function in a cell and in an organism. So uh, we had uh, some experience with Corbell because uh, we have been invited in the beginning as the so-called VIP project mm -hmm. and, uh, that's, uh, and I realized that for another project which was uh, much more connected to my mainstream research we would absolutely uh, have a unique opportunity in Corbell to do experiments that we would not be able to do in my lab alone. So we've been working for uh, almost a couple of decades in a small lipid that is signaling in cells. Mm -hmm. And we found out that there is a new enzyme that can actually make this lipid, which excitingly for us, we realize that it's inside the cell rather than outside the cell as we expected. Uh, and uh, we knew that the biochemistry of this enzyme was there, but we had questions like where exactly does it localize inside the cell? Uh, and uh, most importantly, what happens if we get rid of this enzyme in, uh, in vivo model in mice? Uh, so uh, that's what we wanted to do within Corbell to help us analyze uh, mice that we have created lacking a specific amino acid in this gene, not the whole gene, we're biochemists, uh, but also help us to do some uh, microscopy uh, at the EMBL facility and, as I said, the German mouse clinic. And because for all of this we have available the protein, we also involve the EU open screen facility uh, to try and do a screen for possible inhibitors or enhancers of the function of that enzyme. So we had a fantastic experience with the German mouse clinic. Uh, we have been there, we've been shown the facility. Our mice uh, have moved there uh, just before Christmas. The analysis is going on and we were quite impressed that it was very professional, uh, very uh, well explained to the users and uh, we hope in a few weeks to have our first results. Uh, and uh, we've also interacted with EU Open Screen and we have decided to uh, hold the project a bit until we have the in vivo results. Uh, but the interaction has uh, been great with uh, EU Open Screen and um, quite honestly, it has only been positive the interaction so far and very constructive. It have, they have not been problem free, obviously, but there is. Uh, honest uh, intention to solve all problems and so far we have succeeded. I would certainly recommend to colleagues to apply to Corbell. In fact, uh, I have recommended to colleagues to apply to Corbell. I would not apply for the coming time because I already have two projects that are ongoing and I definitely want to finish them within the Corbell uh, lifetime, hopefully as a success rather than an educative failure story. Uh, but I think it's a very meaningful uh, idea to combine access to facilities uh, and uh, because this combination also brings awareness across fields, that's the real power of Corbell.